What's up guys, Cass here from Giveaway Studios and on this one I'm going to show you guys how to put together this really cool light up water bottle or as I like to refer to it, the ooze booze canister. It makes for a really cool prop to take to kind of like an after party or at a convention or anything like that. All right. It has a couple different modes with the flashing light, fast, flashing slow and steady. All right. This is a super easy kit to put together. You get two parts and your light. The water bottle you need to purchase on your own. I'll have links in the description and where to find it. So first thing you wanna do is take off the stickers from your water bottle. Do so nice and slow. And if you have like any residue, you can clean that up with like a goo gone or something like that. Depending on how clean you got it, as you can see, I have a little speck of glue here. You can just use the sticker kind of use that to kind of chip away at it until it's completely gone. But if it's way messier than that, then I suggest finding a solution that dissolves like these types of glue, like a goo gone or something like that. All right, so we have our bottle. We're gonna grab our light, super easy. If there is a plastic in there, just take the plastic off. You're gonna drop that in there. The part that already has the hole for the on off switch, you're gonna go ahead and Twist your bottle into place. It should be a really tight fit. And as you can see, we're already starting to get somewhere. All right. After that, you're gonna grab your second piece, open your bottle up, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and stick that in there. And with uh, something like a pen or a, a sharp knife or something like that, you're just gonna put lines where the end of the 3D printed cap meets the actual cap, okay? So once you have that, you kind of have an idea of where to cut around. Um, how you cut this is completely up to you. You can do it with like uh, these snippers, but it tends to break pretty violently. Yeah, so that's what happens with these guys. So I wouldn't um, suggest like scissors or anything like that. You could do it with a, a hot knife, that would probably work. But what I'm just going to use is my rotary tool and I'm going to cut a couple of millimeters further in than where I place my line. That way I'm sure it doesn't show through the windows of the 3D part. Also, granted the effect looks better with water than without. Um, you can also do this without water or just kind of amplify uh, the light up effect of this by just sanding down your water bottle till it's nice and blurry on the surface. Okay, my water bottle is nice and sanded. You can clearly see the difference between the two. And now, as far as lighting is concerned, all right, as you can see, this is nice and diffused. This one, the light doesn't travel up it so much. Okay, so with the sanding, without the sanding. But funny enough, they both look just as good in the dark. Obviously this one's a little brighter because it has a little bit more diffusion. Now same sanded water bottle. This time I added some water to it. And as you can see, uh, it's much nicer with the water and the diffused than it is with the water without the diffuse. But again, they both look really good in the dark. Completely up to you how you want to go about it. All right, so once that's done, you want to make sure you clear off any debris from your cap. Go ahead and place it back onto your water bottle. And what you're gonna do is put some hot glue on the top there, and then you're just gonna press this into place and wait until it's done. And there you have it, it's complete. This is completely removable. You have access to your fluids. You can turn it on and off. And now you're ready for an awesome after party on the con or hotel lobby, all right? This has been Cass from Giveaway Studios. Hope you guys like this one. These are available on GiveawayStudios.com if you want to purchase the kits. Uh, if you're here because you have purchased the kit, thank you for the support. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.